Okay, uh, so for this video, we'll be doing practical electricity. Uh, so if you have not watched the success criteria A to C's video, please watch it. That is in my previous uh, video. So we'll be doing D and I hope all the way to I. Alright, so D is stating the hazards, the dangers. Hazards will be dangerous of using electricity in a falling situation. So hazards are dangerous. Okay, I actually went through this in class. You can actually uh, read it by yourself. Uh, but let us take a quick look. Okay, so these are the three hazards. First one is damage insulation, whereby you are able to see the uh, exposed copper wire due to wear and tear. You know, sometimes when you shift these wires here and there, the external uh, rubber or the insulators uh, gets uh, worn down and there is exposed copper wire so in the case whereby somebody touches the exposed copper wire they may get an electric shock all right next is the overheating of cables like what the picture shows there are actually a lot of appliances that is uh, connected to one socket so too much current will be flowing in this case all of these are actually in a parallel circuit right that means they'll be drawing current from the main supply and the plug that is attached directly to the main socket may be overheated may get overheated and then it may cause an electrical fire okay last one is damp environment because water may reduce the uh, resistance of a body so then we are uh, we may then provide a conducting path for the current which can again lead to electric shocks so these are the three possible hazards okay so if there are hazards then there are also safety okay so i will first go through circuit breaker okay circuit breakers are safety devices that can switch off the electrical supply in a circuit when excessive current flows through them so excessive meaning they must uh, exceed a certain value so if you can see from the diagram all these circuit breakers they have a rating of 16 ampere and for this i think it is 25 ampere this is 10 ampere meaning if any current that flows through the circuit is exceeding this value then the circuit breaker will turn off now it is on so if it's in excess then it will turn off the electrical supply to that section of the uh of that room right so they have a uh, various uh, cutoff current values such as 10 ampere or 16 ampere okay when it's above then the circuit breaker will trip all right create an open circuit when there's an open circuit current can no longer flow through now without circuit breaker a surge of current can damage home appliances or even cause a fire so in this case it is more in direct protection of the home appliances or the house itself circuit breakers are connected to live wires this is important live wires i will tell you first it is at a potential of 240 volts later on i'll elaborate more when there's a current surge due to an electrical fault current surge means a uh, current that is above the maximum value okay so just now we see ratings like 16 ampere right so if i have current surge even like 16.5 ampere flowing through it will cause the circuit breaker to trip and create an open circuit this ensures that the appliances are connected from the dangerous main or high voltage so in the case whereby there is this electrical fault current surge the circuit breaker trip creates an open circuit and now the appliances will be disconnected from the dangerous mains or high voltage the high voltage will be our 240 volts supplied by our live wire okay how do the circuit breakers automatically turn this off it is covered in chapter that we'll be doing later okay they are electromagnetics now when a circuit breaker trips the faulty appliances causing the trip has to be identified and removed right then the circuit breaker can be reset and turned on again so this circuit breaker can be turned on or off now uh, next thing that we want to go to the second safety is the fuses they have the same function as circuit breaker same function okay 
they prevent excessive current flow when there's an electrical uh, fault again current flowing exceeds the fuse rating okay of a fuse the fuse which is actually a short thin piece of wire as you can see from here okay it will melt so instead of, instead of tripping it will melt because it will heat up right when there is excessive current heat up it will melt you will then create an open circuit same thing like your circuit breaker and stop the current from flowing through the circuit now like the circuit breaker uh like the circuit breaker the fuses are connected to live wires when there's a current surge due to an electrical fault the fuse will melt and create an open circuit and this will ensure that appliances are disconnected from the dangerous main or high voltage so again high voltage is the positive 240 volts okay so this is in our live wire okay so typical household fuses are rated at 1 ampere to like 10 13 ampere usually they are whole numbers integers fuses are found in the plug the three pin plugs of electrical appliances so like for your pld you will actually find that there's a fuse embedded inside okay uh, but like the circuit breaker the fuse cannot be reset and have to be replaced it is also not as fast as the circuit breaker in creating an open circuit circuit breaker is very fast because it works by electromagnetic concept but for the fuse it has to actually heat up and melt okay but what's the advantage of fuses it is low like maybe less than one dollar less than 50 cents all right so when we select a fuse right if the working current is 4 ampere we cannot select a 3 ampere fuse because it will straight away melt because the normal working current is 4 ampere we also cannot select 4 ampere because anything that is slightly above this normal working current of 4 ampere this thing will melt why not 20 ampere because 20 ampere is too high so imagine my laptop uses 4 ampere all right 4 ampere goes into my laptop and i choose a 20 ampere fuse to guard my laptop against excessive current what if there is now a electrical fault and a surge of current about 17 ampere the fuse that is guarding my laptop will not melt but my laptop which can only take 4 ampere will uh, suffer some damages because it has it can only work with 4 ampere anything that is so much higher than that it will result in some fault so i need to select a fuse that is slightly higher than the normal operating current Okay, this one you can do your calculation yourself uh, I will skip this first I will go to this okay state the meaning of the terms live neutral and earth and describe the wiring in a mains plug this mains plug can either be a two pin or a three pin plug okay so there are usually three wires in a home circuit we have the live wire which is brown you need to memorize it is connected to high voltage in Singapore it is 240 volts it delivers current to the appliances all right so this live wire is the wire to which circuit breakers fuses and switches are fitted so this is important so you need to memorize this so in the case whereby they ask a question what is meant by a live wire you will use this definition next one is neutral wire neutral wire is blue it is usually at zero voltage now it completes a circuit by providing a return path to the supply for the current and again this is a definition you have to memorize what is meant by neutral wire you will have to say that it's a blue wire right usually at zero voltage and completes a circuit last one is the earth wire it is green and yellow okay now what is this uh, earth wire it is a low resistance wire and usually connected to the metal casing of appliances so metal casings some of the appliances appliances that have metal casing will be fridge right then we have for fan laptop as well okay what are some uh, appliances that do not have metal casing no metal casing they will usually be using two pin plug so some of the um let's say uh hair dryer okay hair dryer some only have two pins right 
So let's go into the three pin plug first. So this is a fuse plug, meaning there is a fuse inside. Okay. So the safety features, one of it will be the cartridge fuse. This is the fuse, right? And this fuse is actually connected to the live wire. Okay. And if you can see, okay, imagine there is this uh the metallic plug that you plug into the main socket. Okay, that you plug into the main socket. This is the switch. Okay. So current is coming up from the live terminal this is my neutral and this is my earth okay so if current coming out from the live and fuse must be connected to the live wire so if there is a current surge the fuse will melt yes so the fuse is there connected to the live so that it guards the uh, guards against any electrical surge so it will flow through the brown wire let me do it again it will flow through the brown wire goes into the appliances let's say it's a heater and then this current will flow back into the blue wire back into the neutral uh, neutral hole of the socket so the current will actually be flowing in the live and coming back in the neutral okay so this is the heater example right does any current flow through earth if it's working normally if the appliances is working normally okay no current flows through earth okay because the amount of current that comes out from the live socket from the uh, power station must go back through the neutral wire back into the power station by right if the appliances is working normally no current should flow through the earth wire okay so what is the purpose of the earth wire uh, let's just do a quick recap we have cartridge fuse we have live wire live wire is in uh, live wire is brown in color okay and we have also the blue wire blue wire which is the neutral wire and then we have our yellow and green wire that is our earth wire usually current flows through from live to neutral and if there's no electrical fault no current should flow through the earth wire okay so let us look at the earth wire okay earth wire is over here okay we come back to F so a uh, metal case actually conducts electricity right metal conducts electricity so but we have a need to uh, there's a need to make things out of metal because of the durability okay and the abundance of metal right so no choice we got to have some uh, appliances made out of metal so we need earthing Earthing means connecting an earth wire. Remember, earth wire is low resistance wire. It is yellow and green. Okay. In the three pin plug. From the metal case of an appliances to, uh, to the ground. That means this wire is not connected to the power supply. It's not connected to a power supply directly. The wires that are connected to power supply will be your live and neutral. Okay, this earth wire is purely between the metal case and the ground and the ground, the ground that we are stepping on. Okay, so maybe I do a drawing here. So I have a appliances with a metal case okay then I have my live wire it goes into the appliances okay then I have my neutral wire okay so for my live wire it is actually 240 volts right for my earth wire sorry my neutral wire it is zero volts 
So current by right should flow into from the live into the appliances and then back to the neutral into the power station back to the power station now where does my earth wire comes in so my earth wire is here right and this is the uh, socket so all these are found in a socket okay and in the socket this is this earth wire is connected to the ground okay this 240 volts my live wire is actually connected to power station okay my neutral is also connected to power station okay through the socket but my earth wire is connected to ground how about the other end the other end is connected to the metal case the metal case okay so there is no connection between the uh, power station and the earth wire one end of the earth wire of this low resistance earth wire is connected to metal casing the other end is into the ground okay so this part is actually our electrical cable that is connected to the metal case and this part is plugged into the socket okay but within the socket the live wire is connected to power station the neutral wire is connected to the power station as well to return the current but the earth wire is directly connected to the ground okay they pull this wire all the way down to the ground so what what is the purpose of this earth wire when there's an electrical fault example sometimes the live wire may be frayed okay and it touches the metal casing now this metal casing will then become live that means it will be at a potential of 240 volts okay so imagine there is no earth wire imagine there's no earth wire i'll just do a quick drawing okay so this is the case whereby there's no earth wire right so there is live wire there's a neutral wire but there's no earth wire so there's an electrical fault current flows into the heater into the appliances and this is our metal case still okay current flows in current still flows out now there's an electrical fault and the earth wire actually touches the sorry the live wire live wire touches the metal case so now this metal case will actually become live will become live okay meaning to say it's at a potential of 240 volts so this fault is not sufficient or what if in the case that this metal case it becomes live and a person comes along and touches it somebody comes along and touch it right somebody touches it and it will since the person is walking on ground and ground is actually zero volts okay this will form a connection between the metal case which was at a live at a high potential of 240 volts and this person came along and make the connection to our zero volt ground and so now there's a potential difference so current will then flow into the person the current will then flow through the metal case into the person and that will give the person an electric shock okay that will give the person an electric shock but what if this appliances is now fitted with a earth wire so now i have this earth wire right and the other end is actually connected to ground remember your earth wire is a low resistance wire it's a low resistance wire so even if there's an electrical fault and the metal casing still becomes live the current will now instead choose to flow into the earth wire and into the ground okay so even though later on the person touches it he will not feel 
he there won't be any current flowing through it because the current will prefer to flow through a low resistance wire rather than a person with resistance okay so that will save the person so the earth wire is actually to protect the human all right so can you see from this diagram that actually this forms a parallel circuit over here the current splits up goes into the electrical appliances and part of it also goes into the metal casing and flows into the earth wire right and then into the ground so this becomes a parallel uh, circuit and when we have parallel circuit we have more current than usual so the fuse that is connected to the live wire remember because there is now this electrical fault electrical fault it will cause more current or a surge surge in current electric current surge there will be a surge in current which will then cause the fuse to melt and create an open circuit right because we wouldn't want all this current to be flowing into earth for nothing we'll be paying extra electricity bills correct so the fuse will come in to work with the earth wire when there's an electrical surge electrical current surge the fuse will melt to create open circuit and then the current will no longer flow to the appliances then we'll know that hey there must be something wrong then when we check the three pin plug we look at the fuse we see that it has melted then we'll know that something is wrong with these appliances right then we can send it for repair okay so the uh, explanation is over here when an electrical fault occurs and the live wire touches metal casing metal casing will be at a high potential with earth wire connected the current will flow through the earth wire instead of through the person as the earth wire is of negligible resistance this is important in addition the excessive current that flows through the earth wire will result in current flowing from the mains to exit fuse rating so the circuit breaker or the fuses will then create open circuit to disconnect the appliances from the dangerous high voltage so that is the reason why we have earth wire when we are having appliances that has a uh, metal casing okay so uh, i will go through the next part of the success criteria so basically we are done with this e we have explained the need for earning metal cases double insulation i will do in the next video state the meaning of terms live neutral and earth yes and describe the wirings in the main plug right uh, and i will do this in my next video and this will conclude the chapter for this